What's going on guys? Kit Bash here, bringing you another video. I wanted to show you guys some of the tools I use uh, when I customize. A lot of this stuff I got from, I got a lot of this from different places, but I'm pretty sure most of it is on Amazon. Um, a lot of this stuff too is super handy. For example, the baby nippers. These are called baby nippers because they're little not because they're for babies. But I had a bigger pair, but the spring broke. I happen to have these as a backup uh, just to have because I had a feeling. I, I seen videos about people saying their nippers would like the tips would break and the, they would rust out and stuff like that. So I just had an extra pair. But these things are super amazing. They're really precise and they're really sharp. For example, when you want to cut belts off figures, this is perfect. It just cuts really, really well. Anything you want to cut that's within reason, whether it be, whether it be plastic, uh, um, rope, uh, not too many metals. You could do some metals like you can't do, like you can't make flight stands with this, but you can do, you can cut pretty much anything you put between there. It'll cut it. These are really awesome. Like I said, Amazon for these, I think they were like seven or eight bucks. The Exacto 2, I got this from, I want to say it was Hobby Lobby. I really like this one. It's encased in rubber. Most Exactos look like this. Uh, basic Exacto. This one is actually from Dollar Tree, which is interesting. I guess Dollar Tree has a hobby section or craft section now, and they sell Exactos. So you can get a basic one from there. and actually comes with different blades. These blades actually fit in this Exacto too, which is pretty cool. But this is a, a basic Exacto here. Uh, these ones are all right as far as using, but for ergonomic purposes. I prefer one like this. It's a little bit more comfortable in the hand. It's a little bit bigger and the rubber gives it a better touch. I really like this one too because it has storage for extra blades on the back. Like this one has, I think it comes with two or three extra blades. It could be a little more, I'm not sure, but pretty good for the storage. I like that. Uh, the blades are really cheap too. You can get the blades for like four bucks. This is one of my favorite tools. I really like this one. I uh, use it all the time. I almost replaced it with another one. Because they have a pen type exacto. I cannot get this on here. They have a pen type exacto where you twist the tip and the blade comes out. I really like that one, so I might replace it. But as far as basic exactos, like I said, either Dollar Tree, uh, Hobby Lobby, or I'm, you can get these from, uh, I don't know about Target, but I know Walmart sells them, or uh, Amazon if that's your preferred choice. Next, I have a really underappreciated tool, at least for me, because I didn't even know about them until. I mean, I knew about them because of the dentist. You know, they use these to clip onto the little thing on your on your shirt so you don't drool on yourself. But uh, these are really awesome, especially if you paint like or painting a lot of things. These are called alligator clips. Can't get these on Amazon for reasonably cheap. I want to say like I think I paid 12 bucks for 50. I want to say somewhere around there. It wasn't more than 20, but it wasn't less than 10. So it's somewhere in there. But yeah, alligator clips are amazing for painting. Or even well, whatever you want to hold with them, I guess. But for me, for painting, they hold stuff amazing. Like you can literally take this and you don't have to worry about touching it now. You could just take it, spin it, and paint what you want to paint. Really awesome tool. These are so slept on. I don't see a lot of people using them. Uh, at, like I said, Amazon, like 12, 13 bucks. You can get you 50 of them. And they're awesome. Another one of my favorite tools that I didn't even mention, didn't even pull out, was Sticky Tack. This stuff, if I was on camera, I don't know why I'm way over here. Another one of the tools I want to mention is sticky tack. This stuff is so universal. You can use it for like I use it a lot for mocking up pieces. Like when I print when I print out my 3D armor, uh, this is really, really helpful. Like say you have a head sculpt that's too loose. You can put some of this in the head, pop it on a peg and it sticks there fine. Uh, this stuff is awesome. You can get it from Target, Walmart, Amazon. Don't get the gray stuff. There's some gray stuff that's not as good. I think it's called poster tack or something. Don't get that one. Get the blue one or the Gorilla Glue one, which I heard is really good. But stay away from Poster Tack and get the Sticky Tack or the uh, the Gorilla Glue one. Those are I heard, I heard the Gorilla Glue one is really awesome. And then I have a uh, two handheld devices, screwdriver and drill. This one I got on Amazon for like eight bucks. Awesome tool. Does really precise holes. I just drilled this one out. Really precise holes if you want to make something fit better or say you have whatever peg size and you want to put it on there, you can find a drill bit. It opens up pretty wide so you can get different size drill bits in there if you can see. It's open pretty wide and it goes pretty tight too. So you can get the smaller, like I can get the smallest drill bit in there and, and do whatever I got to do, small hole, big hole, whatever. And this one, 
if you're taking apart figures, I used to have and use these, but these strip screws a lot. At least the action figure screws, these strip them a lot. So I wanted to find something that was more manageable and was better in my hand, which is perfect. This one is perfect for that. Got this from Ross. It comes with a bunch of different drill bits from Phillips to, to flat to hex bits to the octagon ones, all the stuff you would ever need. This thing's awesome for that. Got this thing's awesome for that. Another one I just recently got was these little paint mixer bowl things. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like five bucks. It comes with two of these and two paint stirs. I just misplaced. Oh, that's pretty loud. I just misplaced the other one, but awesome for stirring paint. There's another one out on the market, which is electric. You stick it in, hit the button, it spins and mix up the paint. It's pretty awesome. But as far as it goes, these are awesome. Really like them. I like five or six bucks from Hobby Lobby, I want to say. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about this handheld airbrush. Got this on Amazon. The homie Detour put me on, Detour Customs. He put me on to this, and it's really awesome. I always complained about not having enough space for an airbrush. And then he was like, no, I'll just get a handheld one. And I looked it up, looked it up on YouTube, did my Amazon searches, read my reviews. And sure enough, this is amazing for painting action figures, minis, whatever you want to do. If you don't have a lot of space, which I don't. Uh, this thing is awesome. It doesn't take up any space. It's literally, like, literally, it's, it's flat when you put it that way. So it doesn't take up much space. It's not that heavy. It's heavy enough that you know it's in your hand, but you'll get, you get used to it. This thing, like I said, is awesome. When you search it on Amazon, just search in handheld uh, airbrush. A bunch of them will pop up. I can't tell you which one this is because I don't even remember. There's no markings. But just read the reviews and whichever one you think is best. They'll come with different things. This one only came with a charger and some stuff to clean it, which I'd never used. And that's it. You will need to get airbrush cleaner. This stuff will go a long way. I, I used to run acetone through this, which can help, but it's not good for the rubber. That's uh, the rubber uh, gaskets that are in here to, to keep the paint from leaking out because I get that occasional leaks. But this thing is amazing. Amazon, it was like 56 bucks. They range from anywhere from 47 to 60 bucks. So handheld airbrush, this thing will change the way you paint figures forever. I promise. Because this will put down coats way thinner. It does everything other airbrushes do except control the PSI for the air. So that's the only thing. You do have this as a stop so you don't put out too much air when you paint. But other than that, this thing is amazing. If you want to get into it, and you want to start painting your stuff a little bit better, not have such thick coats and not have brush strokes, this is the best thing you can get. But yeah, these are the tools I use, the tools I love. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what tools you use in the comments below. I would love to see or hear about what different people use. So thanks for watching.